sorry, just having a swig of beer there. You know, it's good. That, I mean, they, they had uh, some quite good licensed soundtracks for it. There's uh, On the soundtrack, there's Queens of Stone Age, there's uh, there's Korn, uh, there's the Dust Brothers. You know, so the soundtrack-wise, and, you, you know, fair play to them. They took the license and they ran with it. Um, they just should have indulged in some... You can probably see, like, from the, the moves that are coming out, you just end up spamming the same moves. And it's not because I'm just being lazy or because I'm trying to be cheap. It's because it's the only moves in the game. You know, you, you've got a couple of um, flying kicks. You've got the, the big overhand punches like that. You can tab them together in some combos. You do some kind of like flying kick combos. You've got like the throw move that you've got there. Um, you've got a move where you can kind of, you kind of flip them over with their arm. And you've got another move where you can sidestep to the side and crack the fucking knees out. And that's it. Look, the, the same ending um, pose again. The same ending... You know the victory kind of pose. It's it's. Oh. <sighs> Damn, son. Tyler said you could fight. <laughs> you better hurry back. Tyler needs you back at the house. He wants to meet you. And surely they could have animated the cutscenes. I mean, really. Hello. I've had the bailiffs around. I'm back. Didn't I tell you to get lost? Hey, I was told Tyler wanted to meet me. You stole my spot in Seattle. I mm -hmm. that spot. Let's see how tough you really are. Oh dear. It's it's almost just painful. I mean, Tom, if you're watching this, I mean, you know, I appreciate you you uh, chucking out a, uh, a suggestion for a game to review, but I'm sure you must have known I would have hated it. <laughs> I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna have to go on and have a look at uh, what kind of um, reviews this got. I can't see it reviewing extremely high at all. <coughs> Excuse me. I think I remember when it came out, it got universally panned, but uh, I just don't know how badly. And let's just, with all the blood on the screen. Let's just say, let's just say it it kind of is a floating camera around. I mean, r really, is that blood going to be travelling fifteen foot to splatter on the front of the camera? Keep it for a special move. You know, when you're doing a special, the camera zooms in, big punch comes round, blood hits the screen, and you know, slowly drips off. That I've got no problem with, but just using it for the sake of it. Kind of reminds me a bit of when I uh, used to paint Citadel miniatures when uh, when I was a little kid. I got into Warhammer stuff when I was about nine, ten Dungeons and Dragons. And when I first started painting the figures, they were just all covered in blood. I'd just do blood on the swords, blood down the armor, just splattering it with blood anyway. It's just like a little kid's made the games like, oh, let's splat some blood on the camera. Yeah, that's really hard. What do you know about Project Mayhem? I've been too busy trying to find Tyler Durden to find anything out. Why are you here? I mean, really, why? I had uh, to find Tyler Durden? I was nothing before Fight Club. Thanks. <sighs> I don't have any more money. Looks like you could use it. <laughs> the bitch actually ran off with another woman. Women. Can't live with them? Pass the beer nuts. Thanks for the drink, pal. Hmm, that was enlightening. I mean, that's the setup there. That little flashback thing, that's the kind of setup. You can kill yourself if you want. Just not in my bar. Listen. Is that meant to kind of motivate him? Kill yourself if you want, just not in my bar. Oh, it's painful. There's another painful bit coming up, guys. There's, um, uh, there's a, a fight coming up. I don't, think it's, I don't know if it's this one coming up or the, the fight after it. Um, where you're kind of fighting in this ballroom or something like this, and you've, you, you've got to take the guy out, you've got to kind of like break his arm. Uh, and I just could not remember how to do like the the ending moves. I think I was doing the ending moves and sending them over my back. 
and I just could not remember the move um, to snap his arm. So I went through it about three fucking times. Still couldn't um, uh, remember how to snap his arm. So uh, so I just left it there. So this isn't running through to the end. Uh, you know, feel you know pleased about that fact. <laughs> oh, I beg your pardon. Excuse me. I think that sneeze is probably the most entertaining thing that's happened during this bloody uh, commentary. I'm t- sorry, I've got a beer here, guys. I've got to have them. But look, Raymond. What the fuck? I mean, seriously. Little fucking whining bitch couldn't fight his way out of a wet paper bag. Look at look at the background again. Look, no, it's good. Well, I think it's good anyway. Fuck you if you don't. But you know, I think I think the backgrounds and everything here are, are quite well done. Oh shit! A flying kick. That was a rarity. <clears throat> There's also some uh, unlockable characters that you got through uh, on survival mode. Um, I can't actually remember any of the others apart from two. One of them was uh, Abraham Lincoln. Of, of, I mean, of all secret characters, why have Abe Lincoln? I'm, I'm just trying to think of the Fight Club connection, and I can't actually do it. Uh, and the second one was Fred Durst from Limp Biscuit. I mean, don't get me wrong, I took incredible pleasure kicking the living fucking shit out of him when me and a few friends used to play the multiplayer, but uh, Fred Durst, I mean, God... I mean, why? What's the what's the connection? It's, it's like having David Blaine in Tekken or something like that. I, I, I don't know. It's just. Now, we find out if you follow instruction, okay? You get to Miami. You go here. Talk to the bartender. The metal sticks in his head. If you fail, <laughs> don't come back. Yeah, it says Mr. Little Pussy Whip crying in the fucking car park. Finally got some balls there, eh, boy. There's, again, there's just no real, no real purpose to the story. You just seem to be going from place to place to place, just as an excuse to shoehorn the different environments in. It's, it's, it's oh, it's, oh, I'm gonna fucking stop. I'm losing. The, I'm, I'm literally losing the will to live. I don't blame you if you don't watch this one, guys. It's. Uh, not that much further now. I think only another couple of minutes. This is the uh, the last fight that. Um, so I think you get the little prompt here that you've you've got to break his uh, break his arm. Is it here? What the what? fight? No, oh, I can't fucking remember. But it might even say when uh, when I lose. It says you must um, break the chemical guys. I mean, chemical guy. I mean, what a fucking... Just you know, call him Fred. Something like that. I don't know. Chemical guy. Ow. There are, there are actually... Um, fucking hell, another move. Jesus. Um... There, there are some environmental kind of things here, but I've never actually managed to pull them off. Apparently, there you go, you must uh, break chemical arms, guy. Apparently, if there's kind of um, context-sensitive envi- bits of the environment. So if you're near a door or near a window and you, you do a grab move, you'll kind of smash them through the window and you'll run out and fight into another part of the... Um, uh, another part of the level. I've never seen it, never managed to be able to pull it off. But apparently it's in there somewhere. I don't know. I might have to have a uh, have another look. So I'm not going to be too much longer, guys. I'm I'm going to wind it up because uh, if you're feeling anything like me at the moment, you're going to want to go and have a bloody nice long bath and a fucking beer after watching this shit. But this is Fight Club, uh, the game. It's a horrible, horrible turd of a fighting game. Um, I think I'd rather go back and play stuff like bloody Black Belt on the Master System than this. Um, don't bother buying it, you know, just watch the film, punch a mate in the face, you know, go out and kick someone in the fucking balls in the street if you really want to get the authentic Fight Club experience. Uh, I'd just like to say thank you if you've made it this far. 
Thank you for putting up with my videos. By all means, uh, if you want to send me a suggestion, uh, please just send me an email. Leave a comment under this video on the, on YouTube. Drop me a, a post on the blog. Um, drop me a mail via Twitter. Whatever it is. Please f feel free to send in any game suggestions, good or bad. I'll have a look at them, let you know what I think. Uh, this is Tony from Game Freak Blog. A very weary Tony from Game Freak Blog. Signing off until next time, guys. Thank you very much for paying attention and listening to my rant. Good evening. Or morning. Or afternoon. Whatever you may be doing.